This country has one of the highest natural gas reserves in the world. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're exploring Turkmenistan, a captivating Central Asian country bordered by the Caspian Sea. Join us and stay to the end to learn more about this fascinating country's geography, history, and culture. Turkmenistan is a landlocked country in Central Asia, bordering Kazakhstan to the northwest, Uzbekistan to the north and east, Afghanistan to the southeast, and Iran to the south. With an area of 488,100 kilometers squared, or 188,456 square miles, it is the 52nd largest country in the world. Its landscape is dominated by the Karakum Desert, which covers about 80% of the country's total area. Turkmenistan is dominated by the vast Karakum Desert and the Amu Darya River Basin. The southern part of the country consists of the Kopet Dag mountain range along the Iranian border, with the highest point being Mount Iribaba at 3,139 meters or 10,298 feet. The middle and northern part is taken up by the Turan Depression with the Karakum Desert. The Amu Darya is the longest river in the country, flowing across northeast Turkmenistan through the desert to the Aral Sea. Turkmenistan faces serious environmental issues related to land and water pollution. The Karakum Canal, carrying water across the desert, has resulted in the salinization of cropland due to irrigation practices. The Aral Sea crisis has led to heavy pollution in the AMU Daria River. Oil and petrochemical industries have also caused local soil and water contamination in areas like Balkanabat. Gas flaring in the oil and gas industry is another concern. Turkmenistan is home to a diversity of ethnic groups, languages and religions that coexist in the Central Asian country. It has a population of around 6 million people according to World Bank data. According to estimates, around 85% of Turkmenistan's population are ethnic Turkmens. They descended from Turkic and Mongol tribes that inhabited Central Asia since the first millennium BC. The next largest group are Uzbeks at 5.5% of the population, located mainly near the border with Uzbekistan. About 2% are Russians, and smaller groups include Kazakhs, Tatars, Azeris, Armenians, and Ukrainians. The Constitution of Turkmenistan guarantees separation of religion and state, although Islam is practiced by 90% of the people. About 9% of the population belong to the Russian Orthodox Church concentrated in the country's north. Smaller groups of religious minorities include Shiite Muslims, Catholics, Protestants, Jews, Buddhists, Baha'is, etc. The Turkmen language, belonging to the Turkic family, is the official state language and mother tongue for around 72% of Turkmenistan's population. 12% speak Uzbek and 9% Russian as their native language. These languages, along with English, make up the main languages used for communication within the country. Turkmen cuisine is influenced by the country's nomadic past and connection to the Silk Road. It shares similarities with Middle Eastern, Turkish, and Central Asian food, with lamb, breads, and rice as staple ingredients. Let's explore some highlights of Turkmen cuisine. Manti are steamed dumplings, similar to ravioli, filled with lamb and onions. They are served topped with yogurt, garlic sauce, or meat broth, and are a popular appetizer or main dish across Central Asia. The lamb filling gives manti its distinctive flavor. Palau is a rice dish mixed with lamb, carrots, and cottonseed oil, often referred to as Central Asian pilaf. The lamb is cooked with onions, bay leaves, cumin, and other spices, then layered in a pot with fried carrots, garbanzo beans, and rice. This aromatic layered rice dish is ubiquitous on the Turkmen table. Dograma, this iconic Turkmen soup, 
features a rich broth of lamb and vegetables topped with meatballs and basil. Onions, carrots, potatoes, and tomatoes simmer in the broth for hours before meatballs are added at the end. The name means tangy snack, referring to the sour taste of tomato and yogurt. Unash, a fermented camel's milk product similar to yogurt, Unesh is mildly sour and sometimes carbonated. It is rich in vitamins and probiotics and is often served cold as a refreshing drink. Unesh is also dried into balls to preserve it. Being lactose-free, even those with lactose intolerance can consume Unash without issues. Occupying a central location along the historic Silk Route, the region has seen a succession of conquerors and empires over two millennia that have left their impact on the people and land. The early settled civilization in the region emerged in the oasis towns along the old course of the Amu Darya River around 2000 BC. Tribes like the Masajitai inhabited the region in antiquity with an economy based on pastoral nomadism, agriculture, and long-distance trade. Alexander the Great conquered the region in the 4th century BC on his campaign towards Central Asia. The region came under Islamic influence after the Arab conquests of the 8th century CE. The Seljuk Turks held the territory in the 11th century, followed by the Khwarezm Shah dynasty based around the Aral Sea. The 13th century brought the ruthless Mongol invasions led by Genghis Khan that wreaked havoc across Central Asia and Iran. Following the gradual disintegration of the Mongol kingdoms, various Turkic and Turkmen tribal confederacies dominated the land. The Turkmen people emerged from a gradual fusion of Oghuz Turks with remnants of earlier Scythians, Avars, and Mongols over several centuries. This was followed by the conquest of Turkestan by Imperial Russia in the late 19th century. Turkmenistan fell under Bolshevik control and was eventually incorporated into the Soviet Union as the Turkmen Soviet Socialist Republic in 1925. It saw tentative industrialization and collectivization drives under Stalin. Finally, Turkmenistan declared its independence on October 27, 1991, after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Turkmenistan has undertaken an ambitious transformation since independence in 1991 to diversify its economy beyond import substitution and self-reliance. The country is blessed with substantial natural gas reserves which drive much of its economic growth. Its GDP stands at around $40 billion according to World Bank data. Turkmenistan possesses one of the largest reserves of natural gas in the world, estimated at over 19 trillion cubic meters. The gas sector accounts for 25% of GDP and 75% of total exports, with China, Russia, and Iran being the biggest customers. The Central Asia-China gas pipeline traversing in the country supplies over half of China's gas imports. State-owned Turkmengas is working to expand production and export capacity to leverage gas wealth. Under President Berdi Muhammadow, attempts have been made to catalyze import substitution industries like petrochemicals, textiles, and construction materials domestically while diversifying exports. The Turquoise Coast Caspian Sea Resort is a massive flagship project to develop tourism. Billions have been invested in transport and urban infrastructure upgrading the Soviet legacy. More private investment is needed to advance industrialization. Corruption, state interference and banking sector problems remain barriers for private enterprises and foreign investors. Most of the workforce still depends on low productivity agriculture and state paid salaries. Youth unemployment is chronically high. The economy remains prone to external shocks based on gas export earnings due to regional energy politics. A 2018 currency crisis caused high inflation which is slowly recovering. 
If you enjoyed this video on Turkmenistan, you'll love this next one.